Good evening. This is Rahul Makan here is a group chief executive officer tragical something and also a second year law student. When it comes to banks and financial institutions, then information technology play a very vital role. Because banks or financial institutions, they are too big that they can't survive without the sophisticated technologies. Two type of technologies which are very much prevalent, however debatable, that whether they are used to the fullest extent or they are not used to the fullest extent is Enterprise resource planning, treasury management system. There are certain financial institutions in the world who made enterprise resource planning as well as treasury management system as one of their backbones. While there are few who not made it happen. Ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to treasury management systems, then we need to learn one thing. It is very much prevalent in United States, European Union and Singaporean markets. In fact, the top banks of the globe, they have a huge customization when it comes to treasury management system. And this is rightfully so. The reason being the, you know, they are in every sphere of banking. Every sphere of banking, when it comes to FICC, which is fixed income, currency and commodities, they are into every sphere. So, customization is mandatory. There is nothing wrong in that. We need to appreciate that. But having said that, there is a thing which is not prevalent widely and unfortunately nothing much has been written on that, which is called cross-referencing systems. Cross-referencing system, CRS. Cross-referencing system means it is a system which is dedicatedly designed for the senior management to do the cross-reference. So let me give you a simplistic example. The top authorities of the government, especially the senior authorities, they have a concept called hotline. They can speak with any prime minister or president, of course, as per their schedule and their permission, about the political and the, uh, the governmental matters. But is this hotline available to everybody in the government department? No. It is available all exclusively to few people in the government. Having said that, the cross-referencing systems Excess is only given to the senior management. But what is that? And why do we need that? That's more important thing. The banks across the globe, they are working 24 into 7 into 365. 320. You must be thinking, why I have taken 20 out? Saturday, Sunday is small things, you know. I could take it 300. Even on Saturdays, there are banks who are taking positions. Even on Saturday, few non-deliverable currencies are subject to trade. But that's a separate thing that we neither bother about this because we do not know this about. Henceforth, we tend to feel that this is useless thing, but actually it is not useless thing. When the banks are taking position, the position is taken up by the front office. But the definition of the front office is very, very tight because the top banks of the globe, they operate in all spheres. They operate in Asia Pacific, they operate in Europe, they operate in United States, they operate in Latin America, they operate in uh, African region, they operate everywhere. They can't afford to ignore any place because they are too big in nature. 
and like i said in one of my videos that market making is something one of the bread and butter for every bank of course the more deeper relationship you have in the interbank market more people know you you have more and more knowledge as far as the you know the market making is concerned so you have more and more money as far as the market making is concerned so it's all relationship game you know by relationship i means legal relation please take a note of that similarly suppose there is a big bank and he is working in african region india singapore dubai hong kong us uh, brazil and all latin america uh, asia pacific asia pacific singapore australia new zealand tick 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 at many places now when the front office is taking the position this position is vetted up by the back office as per their guidelines because every bank in the world is subject to have different guidelines of the back office some banks of the globe are even titled as bank holding companies it means the holding companies the holding the the main company of that relevant bank the relevant structure is a bank and that bank being a holding company having various branches tick 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 this 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 branches henceforth they are titled as a bank holding company and some banks bank holding company is so big even their assets are worth several billions of dollars several billions of dollars in this eventuality the most powerful department of the bank which i titled as alco which is called asset and liability committee but some people refer this as a risk committee also credit committee also disclosure committee also there are variety of name but the most famous name is the asset and liability committee alco a l c o alco alco needs to be highly updated alco needs to understand in which department a eh, sorry in which asset class we are taking the positions why are we taking the positions whether the positions are backed up by the collateral whether the appropriate is the is the means international swap and derivative agreements are signed with the counterparty now the libor is more or less dismantled whether the sofr or any other rfr agreement has been signed and so on and so forth so there are n number of things which the risk department supposed to be updated and fortunately risk department in many banks are playing their role very effectively that i always appreciate now the cross referencing system crs not only helping the top management ceo cfos the chief risk officers the head of trading desk but also the risk office to keep a track on all activities of the bank but ladies and gentlemen the root cause by cost doesn't mean negative positive the root cause of the cross referencing system is coming from trs or tms or both treasury risk management systems trms let me repeat treasury risk management systems or tms treasury management system 
for most of the people in the world both are same but to me both are not same both are different ladies and gentlemen a finest integration is required between treasury risk management systems and also between treasury risk management systems and treasury management systems like i said that treasury management systems are legacy products a huge quantity of customization is required that completely depends on the that completely depends on the vendor and the party who is buying that but having said that the cross referencing system can only work provided the treasury management system lead with treasury risk management system giving the appropriate result example xyz bank is sitting on 500 billion dollars of equity derivatives assuming and suppose today when i am making this video there is a news coming nasdaq crashed 5% assuming in this eventuality there would be mark to market exposure in the equity derivatives of that relevant bank suppose this 500 billion dollar assuming is on the buy side and nasdaq crashed 5% in this eventuality there is a 5% downturn on not complete 500 billion assuming out of 500 billion 200 billion pertains to nasdaq and nasdaq related products then there is a m to m exposure to market on that nasdaq related products which is 200 billion 200 billion dollars that again creates an issue whether this is l1 whether this is l2 or whether this is l3 now that we are not entering into debate whether this is what is l1 l2 and l3 because i explained this numerous amount of time in this eventuality suppose the risk officer is sitting in dubai and that risk officer wishes to know that how much collateral now we need to pay how much additional cost which is coming on my bank because the nasdaq collapsed 5% so that system should be sophisticated and a cross referencing system crs that without even informing or without even calling the front office person that risk officer can see whatever i told you in the system and system should be able to tell that out of 200 billion of the exposure because of whatever movement happened in the nasdaq subject to 5% there is an additional payout to the tune of 5 billion dollars now the risk officer is clear that he needs to arrange 5 billion dollars now he would be talking to cfo and cfo would be talking to the ceo or the head of trading that boss this 5 billion needs to be arranged because of this 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 moment happened in nasdaq which is beyond our jurisdiction but unfortunately there are legacy based products unfortunately the cross referencing systems which i told you do not exist in many places unfortunately there is still having a world of excel excel you send the excel file i send the excel file on the email we will compute so on and so forth because of this there is a delay because of this there is a delay in the decision making process and that delay is sometimes not only dangerous but also subject to serious conflicts as far as the markets are concerned so if i take my same example suppose the nasdaq collapses 5% and there is no cross referencing system you call to front office person front office person said that wait let me make an excel file and share with you he took 2 hours to make an excel file he sent to you you took 1 hour to review the excel file and after 4 hours when you made your decision the market further contracted by 
it means that excel file which that relevant gentleman sent who works in back office this is useless because market further contracted by 3% and god forbid if the if there is you know a restriction on the trading uh, you know by that uh, by that regulator then what would happen which is called lower circuit suppose there is a lower circuit market is stopped what to do lower circuit can be in any exchange it can be in any index it can be in any stock or it could be anywhere then what you do now market is at lower circuit it means 5% collapse is done 3% additional done market is lower circuit it means when the market open further collapse is possible and so ladies and gentlemen cross referencing system is very important but like i said cross referencing system is very costly number 1 cross reference referencing system is highly technical number 2 it is specially designed for senior management it is not for everybody even auditors are not allowed to use them number 4 they are specifically designed to handle your risk management exposure which means that you need to have your risk management exposure in place last but not the least the main reason and one of the most dominant reason is to have the cross referencing system so that the light speed light speed decision can be taken to prevent banks or a big big financial institutions from collapse henceforth since the volatility has grown substantially the cross referencing system is now finding its place in the financial world Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My number is nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight.